Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Will My Ex Contact Me at Christmas? I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details. www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing, will my ex contact me at Christmas? So if you have gone through a breakup, it's very understandable that you will be wondering whether or not your ex will contact you at Christmas. Whether you receive contact will largely depend on three considerations that I will discuss now. So let's get straight into this. And number one is what stimulus have they had? So when I say stimulus, what we need to be thinking here is of the ignition, the ignition to wanting to contact you again. So stimulus or ignition, if we're to call it that, is to be considered in two separate sections. It's got two components. One is how is their life right now? And two is how many triggers have they had? So let's look at this in turn. So firstly, we're thinking of your ex and we're thinking to ourselves, how is their life right now? Now, you won't know for certain, even if you think you've been told by somebody maybe how your ex's life is right now, you don't know for certain. You do not know what is going off in your ex's mind. Your ex might be single, but completely happy, or they might be with somebody new and very sad inside. You don't know. So there is no point in trying to second guess this element. Unfortunately, this is something you're not going to know. You are not going to know how your ex's life is right now in their own mindset. But depending on the perception that your ex has of their own life right now, will dictate if there is an initial ignition into considering contacting you again. If they're feeling very fulfilled right now, then there is less chance of this ignition taking place. However, if things aren't going so well, If they are thinking to themselves, you know what, my life isn't going how I planned. My life isn't quite how I hoped it would be after this breakup. They will have to look themselves in the mirror. They will have to look themselves in the eye and wonder to themselves, have they made a mistake? Have they created a situation which was worse than the situation they felt they was in when they was in the relationship? Obviously, things weren't perfect, but are things looking worse for them now? than they were when they were actually in the relationship. And this will go around in their mind. And if they don't feel their life is going in the direction that they hoped, this will count as an ignition. This will count as a positive stimulus to them considering whether or not to reach out to you. Now, in this first component, as I said, we don't know. You will not know what your ex is thinking right now about their current state of their life. However, the second component you can be sure of what is going on. Because the second component is how many triggers is your ex having about you right now? And with this being Christmas time, your ex will be having lots of triggers. If you was in a relationship with somebody, then you will have had an emotional bond. And Christmas is a very traditional family orientated time of year where people think of their loved ones. If you had a romantic relationship with somebody, you would have formed a bond which will be in your ex's story forever. And therefore, you will have many triggers over this Christmas period in which your ex will think of you. So whereas in the first component, we don't know for certain how well their life is going right now, we can be certain in the second component that your ex will have many triggers. It's not just the fact they was in a relationship with you and the time of year will make them naturally think of loved ones and their past, but also more physical and practical things such as Christmas dinner, such as the music, such as the films, such as all of the festivities surrounding Christmas can produce triggers and memories of Christmases that you and your ex possibly shared in the past. Even if you and your ex are now apart, that doesn't mean you didn't have positive Christmases together. 
And if you are eating a certain meal, that might remind your ex of when you shared something similar with them on a Christmas day gone by. Christmas songs, Christmas films, as I said, all of the Christmas festivities will create triggers in your ex's mind that will make them think of the past and think of you. So when we consider the stimulus about what your ex is having, although we don't know the first component, we don't know how their life is going right now in their own head, we do know that they will be having lots of triggers. And that will go in your favour if you are hoping that your ex does contact you. So now let's get into point number two. And the second consideration as for if your ex will contact you at Christmas. And number two is how high is their level of romantic emotional attraction at the time of stimulus? So we've just discussed stimulus in point number one. But at the time of the stimulus, how high was the level of romantic emotional attraction that your ex felt for you? So when two people are in a relationship, they have a high level of romantic emotional attraction that they feel for one another. That is why they are in a romantic relationship. Now, for whatever reason, this level of romantic emotional attraction dropped. And when it dropped to a certain low point, this is when the breakup would have taken place. So at this moment, at the time of the breakup, the level of romantic emotional attraction would have been very low. And no stimulus, no trigger, no memory, no thought, no ignition is going to light that fuse to make your ex want to reach out to you if the level of romantic emotional attraction is too low. However, if you've been able to raise the level of romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind, when this ignition takes place, if there is enough fuel, if there is enough romantic emotional attraction, this is when your ex will seriously consider making contact. So it doesn't matter how low the level of romantic emotional attraction was at the time of breakup. What matters is how high the level of romantic emotional attraction is right now. Now, please bear in mind, if your ex contacts you, it's not going to be necessarily from a place of wanting to reconcile. It might be from a place of platonic friendship. And that would suggest that the level of romantic emotional attraction had risen somewhat, but not enough. So I've done plenty of podcasts describing and discussing what you can do if you receive contact from your ex. And therefore, I'm not going to go into great detail in that right now. But please remember to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you can be notified of all of my future content and familiarize yourself with my theories. But what is important to understand is that if there is enough romantic emotional attraction in play when ignition takes place then this will increase the possibility of your ex making contact with you. And in point number three, I will be going across the final point of if and when your ex will make contact, if there is enough attraction there, when the ignition happens. But just before we get into point number three, I just want to quickly go over this whole romantic emotional attraction and how you can try and grow it. Because as I said, it's very low at the time of breakup. What can you do as a dumpy to grow this level in your ex's mind if you are no longer together? Well, the best advice I can give you is to implement my version of the no contact rule. If you're not familiar with what that is, or what the no contact rule is in general, then please check out my YouTube channel, look at the playlists, and you will find a playlist called the no contact rule. Click on the first video and listen to them all the way through. It will explain in detail what the no contact rule is, why I believe that my version will give you the best possible chance of trying to get your ex back, and understand how and why you can grow romantic emotional attraction via my version of a no contact rule. So that is how you can grow the level from the low point at breakup to the necessary point where the ignition will hopefully take place and push your ex into contacting you. So now let's get into point number three and the final consideration to if your ex will make contact with you at Christmas. And number three is, is it even possible for them to contact you? So we've already discussed the stimulus and the ignition. We've already discussed the fuel and the romantic emotional attraction. But if there is no actual way of your ex contacting you, then all of these things don't matter. 
If you blocked your ex, or if your ex deleted all of your contact details, then you will have no opportunity to receive contact from your ex. And this is something important to consider. Because when people are trying to get their ex back, when people are thinking to themselves, will I receive contact from my ex? They're not considering all of the permutations. Of course, it's obvious if you've blocked your ex, then you shouldn't be expecting to receive contact from them. But if your ex has blocked you and deleted your contact details, then even if they move through time and change their mind on things, they will be unable to contact you. And that is why it's so important to do the right thing as soon as the breakup takes place. If you are doing the wrong things in the aftermath of the breakup, then you stand an increased chance of being blocked. If you are blocked, then you will probably be also deleted as well. If somebody deletes you and blocks you simultaneously, they will have no opportunity to get your contact details back. Now, of course, there's a possibility that your ex has friends of friends with you. There's a possibility that there are other ways that your ex could make contact. But if you want to try and get your ex back, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that there is a passageway for them to contact you easily. The more challenging you make it for them to contact you, the less likely it is that they will. So please remember as soon as possible, do the right things after a breakup. Everybody makes mistakes and nobody is perfect and certain things can be rectified. But it's important to not get yourself blocked and deleted because if you do, although it's still possible to hear from your ex once more, the chances are reduced. And if you are wondering, will my ex contact me this Christmas? Probably the most important thing to think of is, can they? Have you blocked them? Have you pushed them to block you? All of these things will mean whether or not there's a possibility of them contacting you. And this is before we consider whether there is enough fuel and whether there has been some ignition. So please consider all of these three points about if and when your ex might contact you, in particular, if they will contact you at Christmas. It's important to understand that even if you don't receive contact from your ex this Christmas, this doesn't mean that you won't hear from them again in the future. You are just as likely in some respects to hear from your ex on a random Thursday in January than you are on Christmas Day. Yes, there are more triggers around Christmas, but these triggers might come at a time where the fuel of romantic emotional attraction isn't high enough. Maybe you need a few more weeks pushing forward for this level to grow necessary, and then the next time they look themselves in the mirror considering their past, that might be when they contact you. So if you don't receive contact at Christmas or any other special day of the year, this doesn't mean you won't hear from your ex again. I always tell people, please don't sit around. You only have one life. Life is not a dress rehearsal. You must move forward with positivity and make new connections because clock watching will achieve nothing. There is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. But if you do everything right, you will increase the chances of one day hearing from them. But please don't wait around. You can still hear from your ex again, even if you are dating others. And that is why I encourage people to make new connections and to focus on their own journey. With or without your ex, you will have a positive future. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know, Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.